Uh, we're here today to show you how to do a proper wire splice. We brought Ron Hacker, field service technician. Our first step is to crimp the ends on to the wire. You'll see that there's a crimp properly. It's a number eight crimp. Once we get to this point, we're going to take uh, acetone. We're going to clean our wiring. because We want to make sure it's clean. So we're going to clean the wire, clean the, the uh, connection on all parts. And then we're going to take and slide our heat shrinks on at this point. Slide our heat shrink on here, slide it down. And make sure you have these on there because once they once you crimp it, you no, no turning back. Color code, black, yellow, red. So we're going to take our black wire, insert it here. We're going to take our crimpers and okay. Crimp that right there. Are we there? Yep, go ahead. All right. All right, crimp right there. At this point, we have a proper crimp. Pull on it, make sure it doesn't move. Then we'll move on to the next yellow wire. Just slide it in here and then put your wire in. There. Okay. That work. Okay, and we're ready to crimp. And we'll move over and we'll crimp it again. Again, checking to make sure we have a good solid crimp. And we'll start our third one. All right. All right, let's go ahead and crimp that. Move over, okay. Again, we have a good solid crimp. At this point, we want to clean the other section of wire. Use our acetone again. We clean these wires and make sure they're good and clean. Why are you cleaning it? For proper, for the uh, adhesive to stick to the wire properly so we don't have any grease or fingerprints on there. Now we're going to slide these up and we'll take a torch and we'll heat shrink these in. Here we are in a heat shrink. We're going to shrink this down to seal the wire. As you can see the heat shrinks starting to shrink down. We're basically start in the middle and work out. You can see that's a little more on this side here. Uh, you can see that the glue has come out the end of the heat shrinks on both sides, so we know we have a good seal. We'll let that cool down for just a minute. We'll start with the next one. Okay. You don't want to hold it in one place too long that it will burn the insulation or it will burn the splice. So you can see the glue is protruding out of both ends here. And we'll just start, go ahead and do the next one. Center that up. See there, we have our glue coming out of each end here. Well, that, there you have a proper wire splice. These typically we'll tape these individually and then tape them all together. Be sure we tape the end of these cords down so water doesn't bleed up through the jacket of the cord. So, What about the ground? Our ground a lot of times is external. As on this motor here, we have an external ground that you just you run an extra wire down and attach it here. And so you have so that, that way your motor will be grounded, and then you connect it on top in your power box.